Okay, Asian pies. This book is kind of like a pie pie must try. Now, <laughs> Yvonne, why did you want to take all this Asian heritage dishes like rendang and all that and turn into galettes and pies and uh, all kinds of stuff? Why, why did you think this will work? Well, I find that the younger generation is actually losing touch with their culinary heritage. And my nieces and my nephews, they don't want the fast of cooking, the laborious fast of, you know, pounding the spices and chopping the chicken and going through the laborious process. So what we have actually done is that we want to preserve a lot of dishes, we want to preserve this heritage uh, specialties. So today what are you going to make? Today we're going to make ayam masak merah. Uh, what it means is actually there's chicken that's cooked in a spicy, spicy tomato sauce. So we've got all your ingredients, so mm -hmm. fire up and let's get okay. this on the way. So give it a good fry. Mm -hmm. Lightly brown. Go in. Usually when you eat it at Malay weddings or at Ramadan uh, bazaars or even at home during the Hari Raya, you'll find that they use uh, whole chicken, but because it's a pie, uh, we have actually cut out this chicken meat. All right, it's cut into cubes. Then we just stir fry it. Mm. The reason why I put onions in curry is it sweetens the curry. Okay, uh, then the tomato. tomatoes. Okay, what I did was actually did a shortcut. Um, you bought so canned tomatoes. Canned tomatoes <laughs> actually used for pasta. It's so ideal. So you're going to use uh, tomatoes, skinned tomatoes and then tomato paste. Tomato paste. It's double colouring there. Yeah. So this gives you the red colour that we're looking for in the ayam masak merah. Alright. Oh, see, you can see the colour oh, deepen. See the colour that's rich. Mm, it's a rich, rich red hue. deep red. That's where you get the merah from. That's right. Ayam masak merah. Chicken yeah. cooked red in red. Yeah, literally, literally translated. Okay. Mm. The icy lava. Wow, fresh coconut milk. That's right. Keep going to sprinkle the salt. Okay. Go. Wow, nice. Go, go, scoop it in. Scoop it all in. All right. So they're made into smaller chunks. So when it's uh, fitted into a pie. It's so much easier to make. Traditionally, you would find um, big chunks of chicken, the on leg, bone. the wings, the breast. Chicken on bone. Yeah, yeah but this is boneless. It. But this is a pie version, so we do it mm. uh, boneless and in small little cubes. Use the fingertips and rub the fat. Butter and shortening of fat that's used in pastry into the flour until it becomes crumbs. Add chilled water. We don't want the butter to melt when you're kneading it together and bring it together. Then you wrap it with a cling film and you put it in the fridge to chill for half an hour before you start baking. Okay. okay. Just, oh just about. That's, a, that's like a lot of ayam masam. We're very generous, I know. I mean, this is this is family portion, sir. Mm. Friends and wanna be friends. Very gently. You gently peel it off, and there you drape it over. There will be remaining pastry. Don't waste it. Cover another pot pie. If you don't have enamel mark or what we call gong here in Singapore and Malaysia, you could also use disposable paper cases. 